Hi, Chris Murray here. I got a question in the forums about the difference between subobject preview and point to point selections and how to use them and when to use them and how to invoke them. So I thought I'd answer that here real quickly. So I'm going to go into subobject selection mode and I'm going to do some more work on top of this helmet. And um, there's a couple of different ways to preview selections or to anticipate selections of your subobjects. So I'm going to go ahead and select a polygon here. And the way subobject preview works is you hold down the shift key, but you don't do anything with the mouse button. You just hover the mouse on adjacent or neighboring polygons, and you get a preview of what's going to be selected if you click the mouse. So when I click the mouse, that's what I get. It also works with edges. So if I come in here and choose an edge and hold down the shift key and then just choose a neighboring edge, I can see what I'm going to get. It's not going to select this because it's not a ring or a loop. So if I go around here, you can get a real simple preview of what it is that you're going to see. With point to point selection, it's similar, but a little bit different. So I'm going to go back to polygon mode and swing around to the back side of the helmet here. Now, the way it works is you uh, beginning with a polygon that is currently selected, you hold down the shift key and then you click and drag. All right, and then you can drag anywhere on the model and you can see you get a good preview of your selection based on a point on the model where you're going to click. So in this case, I'm gonna click over here and then I'm done with that selection method. But there may be a time when you want to have multiple selections along different axes and get a good preview of that, especially on curved surfaces. So here's the way this works. So again, same technique holding down the shift key, going to click drag. And again, I can see a good preview of what I'm going to select. But then let's say I get to the point where I want to change direction of my selection. I'm still holding the shift key and I click the left mouse button. Notice my selection preview is still active as long as I have the shift key held down. So now all I have to do is just do some more clicks. Okay, and it's still active. I'll come up here. Okay, so that's a good and simple, easy way to stay in selection mode and have selections that go off in different directions, especially on curved surfaces where you want to be able to preview the selection before you actually select it. Thanks for taking the time to stop by my channel. Please like and share this video.